Generating images with AI, well, it's a thing, it's a new thing, and there's a lot of demand. Whether you run an Instagram page, whether you run theme page, whether you want to sell it online, whether you want to freelance it, drop service, there is good money. Today, we're going to see how it can be done with Blue Willow. Now, maybe you haven't heard about this one. Maybe you've only heard about midjourney.com, but I gotta tell you, it's the same thing. It works on Discord, but... There is a catch with this one. You know that on Mid Journey, well, it was first free, but later they introduced subscription, right? So a lot of people who just got it like for free and just like tried it out, well, they couldn't do it anymore. But Blue Willow, take a look at this free AI artwork generator. And it's the same thing. Let me show you. You will just click on join the free beta, of course, and then just take a look at how Mid Journey looks like. But let me just switch over to Blue Willow. And it's the same thing and it functions in the same way because you just have to enter these prompts and of course you get these images so first of all we don't need to invest okay we just need to make these with these prompts but don't worry if you just like don't know how to make these prompts i'm going to show you a way in which you can do this as a total beginner okay so no experience needed for this method because there is another ai tool that can work with this one and i'm going to show you everything first of all just go and join the blue willow and if you want to learn these prompts if you don't want another ai tool to do it for you you can head over to this website which is called lexica.art so lexica.art has a lot of images which are generated on Blue Willow, Mid Journey, and Stable Diffusion. So they just collect all of these, okay, and they put them in one place. But these pictures are not just so you can see them, you know? When you click on the picture, just have a look at this. If I click on this picture, I get a prompt that was used in order to make this okay so you get these prompts for free so you can see certain styles okay so for example if you like this style you can just mimic the style by using the prompt that this person have used okay so it is a good thing if you want to learn it out it's a good place for research okay and as you all know with mid journey blue willow the more specific you are the more time you invest into making these prompts the better the end result is going to be so this place is a real heaven for any image generator only because you can just see what other people are doing you can just take their prompts and you can see what they type in what they leave out which of these commands they use and it's a really really good thing for study okay so use this one if you want to learn to make super cool prompts yourself but if you don't want to do that if you just want to do like more easily if you just want to go and just type it out do this first of all open yourself your edge browser i know who else uses edge browser maybe one percent but for this you will need it only because of this bing chat okay so bing chat is the same thing as chat gpt but it's way better okay so it is way better for only one reason bing can access the internet okay so it can go on research and it can just find the actual information so just have a look at this i can ask bing anything to look up for so i'm gonna look like this look up how to use blue willow go and look how to write these prompts that it uses so i can just tap it like that hit the enter key and now what's gonna happen bing is gonna go on a research okay so searching for how to use blue willow prompts now this is really good okay so basically you are training one ai tool language command to learn another ai tool to learn to use it so you can just take advantage of it okay so you don't have to go and study and research bing is going to go on research just have a look at this it will go online and it will learn it will tell you what it has learned and it will give you the references okay so you have the references on where it went on a research so you've got all of these websites lined up there okay and the thing with bing it's a really good thing i mean you can just ask it anything and it will give you the references so you can just go and double check the information that it got you you know so the next thing that you can do once it has learned how blue willow functions you can just ask it 
for a prompt. So you can just do it like this. Use what you learned and make me a prompt for an image and then just you just type whatever you need okay so whatever you need now you just type like image of the car okay and then it will give you the prompt you just copy and paste that into blue willow and you get yourself a picture i just did it like this now i just typed in use what you learned and make me a prompt for an image of a cat drinking soda and of course i've got myself a prompt which i can just copy and paste into blue willow now, Microsoft Bing is also capable of generating images. You have to create yourself an account with them, but I don't really know how good and what quality this is. So we can just go back to Blue Willow. And you know how Blue Willow functions, right? So you just enter like this, imagine, and then you just hit the space bar and you will get this prompt. Now I'm gonna paste the prompt that I've got from Bing and now you just jump to present so you can see your own. Okay, so just let me find my own. It's going to take a while because there's a lot of people in this. So here it is. Here is my cat drinking soda. And of course, you know how it functions. If you don't like these, you can just go and ask for a different version. Okay, so you just go, I don't know, I like this one, for example. Let me just tell, I like this one. So it's number three. I'm just go to click on this V3 and then I'm gonna get a version a variant of that okay so we know how to create these if you don't have any experience but how can we sell this how much money we can make well first of all you can make yourself a gig on Fiverr because they have included AI services and you can just join the mid-journey artists because it's the same and then you can create images for people for your clients and you can get a lot of money great demand great deal of money for example just take a look at this person it is one basic artwork without editing work 25 dollars for one picture i mean that's crazy enough just take a look at the number of sales that this girl or guy have i mean that is crazy amount of money okay so really good one but of course there's multiple pages for example you can just go to etsy etsy is a great place just take a look at what these people are doing well they just give you the option to put your own pet so these are customized portrait photos of course they're made with an ai so what i'm gonna do if i want to order this i send them the picture of my own pet and then they just use blue willow or mid journey to place it somewhere okay to give it a body to make something funny but just take a look at the price 23 dollars for this and it is really really easy to make this for example if someone puts you the picture let's just take this picture's from Paxels. i'm just gonna save it on my computer or i don't even have to i can just take a link from this picture now look what can happen i can just go to imagine and then i'm just gonna paste the link of that picture and i can just add as a watercolor painting let's just do it like that and of course it's gonna take the picture of that pet and it's gonna make it as a watercolor painting so for example someone ordered that from you but of course it can be other people it can be portraits of real people so opportunities are endless so have a look at this now you see that it's weird but you have to help him to get close. So this version four is the most closest ones. So I'm just gonna go and ask for version four. And then you just go and go until you get the desired result. You don't have to do nothing. You just have to click and ask for variants. Okay, so that's everything. I mean, really, really easy and you can get a lot of money with it. As you can see on Etsy, there's also like people's portraits. People like to do these, for example, like this one, you can see like a king or something like that. $35 for this one. So 35, that's really crazy. I mean, there is a lot of money inside of this. So if you feel a bit creative, if you love this, if you have some passion for it, if you think it's interesting, just go and learn a bit. Okay. If you want to do it manually, I told you you can go on that lexica.r website, just learn what other people are doing, and then you can replicate that. But of course, there is this way, use Bing, and it'll make it for you, okay? So, just go, take that action, and get that money, really easy. I'll catch you.